Hey boys, we're back. Gonna, we still have a little more before sleep. We're pushing that schedule into vampire mode again. So, continuing our uh, Astra Militarum game, Gladius. This is a uh, part 3 video. If you missed the uh, beginning, there are 107 turns in. Hey guys. Yeah. See. Loading the game sometimes in this game is weird. Let's just reload just to check. Did it fix this thing? I think it was fixed in one of the updates, but just wanna confirm. Did just research the heavy bolters. Everything looks good. Looks like fixed. Okay. So just got the uh, heavy bolters. It's a, a strong TRA tech for the uh, Astrum Militarum. Mainly because the Lem and Rust Battle tanks get uh, uh, additional heavy bolters. Makes them uh, deadly at uh, uh, 2 and uh, low range. Their standard range is 3 on both weapons. This adds additional weapons to the, to the Lem and Rust Battle tank. We'll uh, just have uh, serious firepower. Uh, two and lower range, combined with their uh, other weapons. If we fire, uh, how does this work? A lemon rust bell tank uh, has the bell cannon and the last cannon. Both weapons are three range. So this weapon uh, uh, fire from three and lower. If we uh, uh, shoot a target at a uh, distance of three, we only fire with last cannon and bell cannon. The game actually tells you what weapons you will use when you attack somebody. So the hay bolters uh, uh, do not fire at 3 range. But if a target is within uh, uh, 2 tiles, 2 range or 1 range at the close range, all 3 weapons will fire. There are also things like, uh, for example, the uh, Archaker cannon. It has a minimal range of 2. I think they fixed this. And uh, it also has a heavy bolter. So uh, the Basilisk is most effective at 2 range, but 6 range is kind of crazy because it fires from a, a really long range. But at 2 range is uh, it's more deadly, so sometimes it's worth uh, getting them closer into, uh, so you have a heavy bolt to fire as well. And the Urshiger Cannon uh, will uh, not work if the target is at close range. So we'll see Bretonian nerfs. Uh, Bretonian has been already nerfed enough. Bretonian is hard to play in multiplayer. And also will depend on the uh, uh, play, uh, the opponent's composition. Like the Dark Elf army that uh, lost uh, was really bad against Bretonia. That's, uh, you know, when the Bretonia usually wins. Mm. But yeah, the, ner the infantry uh, have, has suffered because of the multiplayer. And it's uh, it's a legend that makes them bad. So we're gonna keep gardening the our uh, Kai Copia. I will just call it the, the region artifact. Uh, with two hydras, they are uh, uh, tomb kings below us, and there are space marines here. This is a, a free for all, six player large map, very high uh, land ma uh, uh, land mass, uh, no quests. I think the map is pretty actually pretty big. So far the performance has been uh, uh, really nice. Mm. What am I gonna do here? What is going on here? Um, I'm, I'm not really into multiplayer. Multiplayer it's not good for... Uh, uh, not good for you. If you're really good at it, you uh, you know, winners you know you know get uh, called you know cheesers, and the losers you know the uh, you know they just uh, you know suck at the game. But there's no really middle ground. The multiplayer on Twitch is not very healthy for long term. Hmm. 
what do we have here? Manufactorum. We have two of them, uh, so we can produce uh, something fast here. Does it have the heavy bolt? We should get another Lamnaras belt tank, why not? We should also get some Sentinel to try to scout what is going on here. Let's send aircraft, which we didn't build uh, yet. Another tank uh, to give us some security. We'll not build anything here, and we're building another barracks here. That's where we can build some infantry. This is mainly gonna be this is a, this is mainly a desert. Also, we have Prometheum relay pipes, uh, so this is where, where we're gonna get energy. Since we're gonna rely on energy here, if we lose this city, it's gonna get ugly. So we need to make sure we have all the defenses set up. I think the space marines are on the retreat. This is a rough terrain here. These are cliffs. And there's a fortress of uh, redemption here. See this fortress? We have to climb one of the cliffs. Like uh, here. No overwatch for the fall from the fortress because it's been firing on the lair. And we can use our long range artillery here. Uh, our bring it down is on cooldown. So we're just gonna. Nuke it down. To take back the uh, the this outpost, we need to bring down the fortress. Space Marines uh, uh, play differently than uh, any other uh, faction in the game. They can only have one base, one city. Uh, they'll depend quite a bit of these outposts, and uh, especially until they get a mega city, which uh, you know takes some time to build. They drop these fortresses of redemption, which uh, gives them additional bonuses. So, uh, how do the outposts work? When you claim it for yourself, you get that flat bonus, like this is uh, two energy. But when the city takes it, uh, it gets that percentage bonus. turns onto the next Imperial Bastion and we just build this one. We need to keep clearing this terrain, especially this terrain here. The city is missing a lot of slots. Imperial Guard uh, uh, does not care about forests or Imperial cities. good for the infantry and we do not have really good infantry some of the infantry can be decent uh, we are it's all about vehicles and vehicles need clear line of fire forests and pedal cities is the cover for the infantry so if you are in a forest you can see here uh, grants range damage reduction to infantry units I mean 50% range damage reduction this messes up with the uh, uh, you know give you know makes infantry much harder to kill when they have cover. So we don't really want this terrain here. Clearing uh, the forests will lower the ore production, but will uh, free up uh, uh, another slot for construction. So we can do another slot once this tile is claimed by the city. And uh, uh, the line of fire uh, as well will be clear. For the uh, uh, Imperial Bastions. We have another basilisk here. Uh, our artillery uh, is here, together with the Lord Commissar. Lord Commissar buffs the accuracy of nearby units, which increases damage. And uh, we have our ability every now and then, bring it down, increase the armor penetration of nearby units, which makes uh, the basilisk do extra damage uh, uh, for one turn. Looks like the Space Marines are retreating. I'm not even sure I want to take this, but it will give us the line of sight. Let's send the tank commander. Just make a move like this for us. Nobody's here. We can send tank commander. 
gives us uh, uh, some research bonus. Uh, research is uh, pretty good, and we have only one research building. So, uh, we'll see what is going on here. I know that there are uh, some uh, uh, space marines here. Does anybody need repairs? Uh, this one could use some repairs. But uh, it doesn't really matter, it's 46 out of 53. This is a tank with 10 armor, really hard to kill. It's not easy to kill a uh, Lemnoraz belt tank, you need a unit with counters it. Some, uh, preferably some melee with uh, good armor, armor penetration. We have uh, the artifact here, which provides healing every turn, so we don't have to really worry about missing 7 HP on a Lemon Ross Bell tank. So we'll continue to clear the forests, if we even have the resources for it. Kinda low on the uh, uh, resources here. Mega Nobs is, uh, yeah, is good against Lemon Ross Bell tank. Uh, let me get a scout sentinel here, and I, I need some ore to keep clearing the forests. It's very important we clear these forests. It's elevated here. Okay. We are basically uh, expanding with the defenses. This is not the strongest faction, this is a... Uh, 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 this is uh, uh, the weakest faction, and uh, they have to have to wait to get this, uh, later the game to get good. So we have to play safe with the defenses. We can pretty much just expand our defenses towards uh, uh, whenever there is a front, and fight together with defenses. Uh, definitely try to bring this down. We don't see it from this area. here. Overwatch from this from the tank is really strong. Yeah. So we have two multi lasers. They're uh, uh, last weapons. Lasers. Uh, I would like to take this one to see what is going on here, but uh, it's close to the city. We have a pretty good city here. Pretty good city. We're gonna keep this to here. I need to eventually build a, a, a imperial bastion down there. I'm gonna go clear this uh, wire with first. Energy is plus three. Uh, population is good. We need to claim the uh, the Prometheum relay pi pipes here. These are city that produces energy. It's uh, pretty much in desert. That's very good to get uh, the energy. Uh, the resources are uh, uh, pulled together from all the cities. Loyalty is local. Which bu uh, either buffs or uh, debuffs, increases or decreases the amount of uh, uh, resources out outputs in, the, in that city. Each point of loyalty is 2%. Okay. Hmm. Kraken bolts uh, are uh, is very strong. Uh, we have heavy bolters on several units. 
and also the uh, Imperial Bastions, our, uh, our defensive uh, building, defensive unit. The Imperial Bastion has uh, three heavy bolters. Makes it very impressive. The heavy bastions also increase in level, so the heavy bolters do even more damage. Heavy bolters is good not only because it has good damage, it also has armor penetration. The Imperial Bastions are weak to 3 range, but uh, depending how you position them, like uh, on a high ground, low ground, uh, will not matter much in most units. Unless the units have uh, stuff like uh, Barrage, requires no line of sight. So the two range is very effective. Edict that increases the energy output of buildings in the city. Oh boy. Wanna get those Kraken bolts. I also want to get some uh, air to actually scout ahead. I also want to get uh, that technology they have. This is the first one they have for the expansion. Looks like it's the first one. The hotshot uh, power packs is nice. Let's, uh, let's improve the uh, the last weapons. The uh, skeleton has last weapons. And the uh, lemon rust belt has a last weapon. The, uh, there are last guns on the uh, city as well. The guardsmen have the uh, the last uh, the last weapons too. Not a top priority, but uh, buffing damage on the Lemon Rust Belt thing is always nice. Last skin has very nice damage. Six armor penetration. It's only three turns to get that. Our research is pretty good. I uh, don't even feel like needing getting uh, to get another uh, level of research, another building to research. Acquiring technology at good rate. This is a long game. Oh boy, what the hell is this? Lord of Skull has appeared. Stay away from us. Okay. Whoever defeats the Lord of Skulls gets a. a, a Gets a buff for all units, 10% damage reduction. It's not really crazy, uh, but uh, I don't want to face Lord of Skulls with the uh, Imperial Guard. No thanks. Let he go murder Space Marines and the Necrons. Okay, we can uh, get uh, infantry much faster right here. So, uh, what do we need here? Uh, we need some loyalty. And uh, let's see what's the loyalty building. I need 10 loyalty, I'm not gonna build it there. Hmm. Let's acquire this tile here. We're gonna start removing uh, stuff here. By removing the dire weed, uh, that wire weed here, uh, we get a, uh, a one more slot here. Uh, but uh, it's out of city's range. Should have to take these tiles first. Take this one first. Bring this thing down now. This is 
a nice tile to take. It goes the fortress. Keep clearing these tiles here. Confident we can take this one here. And the space marines are under retreat. Could uh, place some overwatch here. I'm not gonna go far in this the area. Don't wanna go in a large engagement while uh, we are still build, trying to build advantage. scout this area but it's not really safe to just send one guy here. Don't wanna get surrounded by some crazy armor piercing armor penetration units. Okay, this is all good here. Playing it safe here, playing the long game. I'm in no rush to win. I'm not even sure we can push, we'll just overextend against two enemies. That is a unit of apothecaries, I'm not mistaken, they have bolt pistols. Yeah, bolt pistols. Bolt pistols pretty good, but only have, uh, they have short range. Guardsman here. Okay, yeah, let's uh, keep clearing this uh, this weed here. What do we have here? Three slots. Yeah, baby. Uh, what are these slots? Oh no, it's actually not three slots. This one is three slots. Take this one. Each tile costs us one influence, but our influence is really good. Main uh, source of influence is the labor core. Kinda. Uh, uh, Building like a labor core makes the influence building kind of underwhelming. Because building additional labor core doubles the uh, building production. It's it's really good. It does cost uh, some energy, but uh, get like a seat in the desert and you don't not worry about energy. We're gonna put. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, can we even shoot through this area? Free range don't work here because of the rocks. Mm. They're also downhill. I guess we go uh, to the to the face. Go to the face. We we'll also get the artillery closer, but we can just finish off this thing here before uh, bring it down and open fire. And yeah, the layer is down. Got some AK experience here. Get this Hydra closer. Hydra has uh, heavy bolters. So uh, if you check the attack estimate, uh, when it says uh, below estimated zero uh, out of five casualties, you can see uh, uh, the uh, the Hydra Hydra the auto cannons will do 2.1 damage. This thing has uh, uh, less uh, uh, accuracy against ground units. But it still can attack ground units, and you can see the, uh, the heavy bolt will do 1.1 damage. So all three weapons will fire here. Two range works from this style. You can actually 
see the heavy bolt of firing. We were firing uh, three range, you would not see the heavy bolt of firing, not the mission there. It's pretty cool. Like, you know, details like that. Uh, the tank has a blast weapon, which means it uh, does more damage if, uh, if uh, depending on how many, I mean, uh, if how many soldiers are there. They will do more damage if there are five and not four. But we're gonna use blast weapons here for sure before doing uh, casualties with non-blast weapons. So this attack will not be good before the uh, blast weapon attacking first. They are on an outpost, uh, which means they have a significant damage reduction from the outpost and additional range as uh, their infantry. I think uh, the range might also work on vehicles on this one. It's half of the uh, protection they get uh, uh, compared to the city. This is all high ground here and we can go around. Or we can build another uh, uh, Imperial Bastion. I should probably put it next to this uh, artifact. Uh, so if somebody tries to take it from us, they will have to destroy the Bastion first. The artifacts are important, they provide uh, 4 loyalty each. This, uh, they, they, uh, they're random, you know how they... Uh, 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 generate when the game starts. Uh, there are three siren casters which increase loyalty and we're gonna be building quite a bit of cities. So every city receiving plus 12 loyalty is quite a big deal for our faction. This is a pretty good faction for the Imperial Guard. It's pretty good, fa uh, pretty, pretty good I mean, artifact for the Imperial Faction, Imperial Guard. Especially since they uh, made sure that the penalty from uh, building extra cities is bigger than before. I think they doubled it. I think it used to be like minus 3, they put it to minus 4. Let me check the patch notes. They definitely increased it. Every additional city pa uh, passed to the first city uh, was given like minus 3, now it's, now it's minus 6. Yeah, minus three was not a really big penalty. So this, these things are uh, uh, really good for the Imperial Guard now. Hmm. A little flat terrain here. A little flat. This one is a little elevated. Perfect to place one of these, uh, one of these bastions. Bastions cost uh, 40 ore to extract. They're an immobile unit. And also uh, they have 2 ore upkeep. You just should stay here. We need to clear this forest. This thing's gonna be in a good line of sight here. Don't see this tile here, but no biggie. This guy's uh, uh, not making any moves here, but I don't want to invest this thing here. We can end this one here, but so we don't miss the experience. Move here, we still have them in range. We can think we can end it now. Yeah. Everybody got experience here. As they get level up, they increase in uh, damage, health, and morale. 
level 10 is maximum. This is all good here. What are we not producing here? No heroes and no no angels here. It's fine. Increasing population here. Hmm. New York Hell starting to lose some food here. But no biggie we'll get we can get more of this. Guardsmen connectors are scouts. Oh, Sentinel and Guardsmen are uh, uh, pretty expendable. I'm gonna get some more farms here. Farms. The Soylent. Uh, uh, what's it called? The Soylent. Soylent's farm. Yeah, this is uh, some good uh, grasslands here for farms. Just increasing the uh, population capacity. Oh, they come here. They have Overwatch, Heavy Destroyers, and a Doomsday Arc. Or is it the Destroyer Lord? Heavy Destroyers. These two are pretty good against our units. Hydra uh, has good firepower, especially against the uh, Necrons unit, uh, the Schemers, the Flyers. But uh, it's not very tanky. It is a tank. It's a Hydra tank. The uh, steel uh, uh, needs assistance. It has uh, eight armor. It has seven without the extra vehicle armor. We also have additional uh, range damage reduction from technology. Twenty-four health. These two are uh, low level, so this does not help them taking damage. This is a skimmer and this is a uh, water skimmers. Either has uh, anti-air weapons, skyfire, this the accuracy against flyers and skimmers reduces the accuracy against ranged, uh, g against ground units. Twin link means it's extra accuracy, uh, like s I think 6 is standard accuracy for 50%, this twin link gives it 2 extra accuracy, which means it increases damage, and the skyfire further increases damage if, uh, if they are uh, flyers and skimmers. This is, a, this is a very good weapon, it also has 3 range. It has a reduced accuracy against ground targets, but it still fires against ground targets. It's also heavy bolter at 2 range. But it has quite a bit of firepower. Those two are, are uh, almost, the, almost an even match for the Hydra, but uh, this thing is level 3, so it's kind of in their favor. I don't want to scout. I'm mean, really. This is too close to the city. I want to keep scouting here. There is actually a bastion there. I want to keep the bastion like as a buffer. Hmm. I'll just uh, keep sending them the original, the you know, the way they I want to send them. Next time we can build up fortification there. Let's clear this uh, uh, wire weed. Uh, we could delete this uh, heavy destroyer. Hold fire now. Can't get the artillery in range. Hey John, that's like uh, I, I don't know what it is. It's for, it looks to me photoshopped. Totally Photoshop, man. Let's clear the forest here. There's, uh, there's too many units here. Uh, we're not going on offensive, so we just pull out here. Uh, this is a very nice terrain. We just need to clear some forests. Let's send a tank to assist to the other side. Position artillery closer here.
Basilisks have long range, but these guys are still f uh, too far away. Okay, uh, 36 population uh, limit now. It's really good. Uh, we're gonna be needing more food. Okay. Very good here. Well, building, uh, product producing buildings is, is priority. So we're gonna get another building here. What do we have here? Can we get some uh, extra ore production. Doesn't really matter. This is what uh, extra growth, wealth. That is a really good growth. Uh, what we need here is a loyalty building. A loyalty building here. Loyalty is uh, minus uh, 1.2. sure about this. We can definitely bring down destroyers. But there might be uh, 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 reinforcements on the way. Losing a Hydra is not that big deal. I'm losing a destroyer. Uh, uh, it's like... It's fair. Artillery is one turn away. I uh, I think it's only heavy destroyer here. Shame we had to uh, use an extra attack here, but uh, this is because uh, our low uh, low level. This thing is level three. Now we're gonna get this substructure extension, so the cities can uh, acquire tile at the longer range. Oh, the first upgrade is gonna be fine for that. We're gonna sleep in Manufacturum here for now. The energy, uh, I mean, the ore output is not really high. We have three cities. 66 is, is uh, not enough. Let me get this to 100. As we get more vehicles, uh, our ore output goes uh, lower. Uh, the, the vehicles cost ore to upkeep. We want to keep constructing buildings, so uh, it's a lot of ore. We need, we need to get the ore production higher. Much, much higher. Oh, they had the reinforcements. That uh, Hydra might be down. That looks like a destroyer lord. Uh, the third lord is Mele. Uh It's not a heavy destroyer. If it was a heavy destroyer, we would have lost it either. Definitely have to pull out now, but uh, our tier is getting in range. Lord Commissar Clover. We can fire from this spot. We can fire from this. So if I hold the right mouse button and, you know, want to see but I want to move the unit, um, you notice how... Uh, the red targets appear on the enemy. Going here will not be in range. Going here will be in the range of the enemy. In they uh, they will be in our range. They don't even see this unit here. Officer is supposed to buff accuracy, but he's slower than the than the tanks. They're moving their forces here. We uh, pushed back the marines and so they're going in. They were fighting marines before we uh, uh, fought them off. Okay. Stroll Lord is nasty. It's really nasty. It's tanky and it's deadly. fire on that uh, arc. Once we get into formation here and use the 
putting him down with a common star, we can do some serious damage. We should just uh, try to bait them. You no, know, uh, retreat here, you know. Retreat to uh, jibate them. Make retreat into ambush. They don't see us here, we see them. Those guys all have overwatch. here they get closer uh, we'll have Hydra overwatch Forest here. some serious overwatch here It's not gonna be uh, 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 very healthy for them. Might have more sh more stuff. Move the tank commander uh, to start attack immediately. This thing has a death ray and a, and a twin link Tesla destructor. If we move here; it will fire. Don't have any, any any lemons here. It should be enough to handle this. Send uh, uh, our commander there to go full throttle. Full throttle is very nice. Makes the tank commander and uh, nearby tanks have more movement. So you get uh, uh, what you want faster, or uh, get the hell out of uh, dodge. Tank commander is, is amazing. Have uh, Imperial Bastion ready. Let's protect this city. Uh, we're gonna have to build it here. And this should be uh, uh, pretty much secured south here. Now we're gonna have two guardsmen to scout for now. This is uh, so much rough terrain here: forests, peril ruins. Not very healthy for vehicles. This is a uh, this is a dream for uh, for infantry fighting. Can I wanna go uh, here? See what the hell is going on. Scout Sentinels have the scout ability, it can be used once every 3 turns. It uh, reveals the radius of 3 around the, in the unit for the, end, uh, for the rest of the turn. I need to pull out this, uh, these things here. Hydra's are nearly the uh, next level. Ooh. That was sneaky. The sights are uh, fast, really fast. Pretty good against fortifications. So much about my uh, sneaky overwatch. Oh, they got my uh, healing uh, uh, artifact. Oh man. Open fire. There's no line of fire there. There's a, there's a downhill here. It's, this is a high ground. Night sight is a transport, while a doom sight is a, is a fighter. Nasty stuff. This, uh, this two are this is their veterans.
Oh, this is actually low ground. Oh, nice. We just can't go uh, through it because no moment. Is uh, a little problematic. These things are uh, very sturdy, but we have a drop on them. to uh, threaten here so they pull out doom sites are, uh, are uh, nastier than the the other things I uh, uh, doom site uh, nasty it's the same shit why the lemon the battle tank or Hydra or Basilix is nasty as it's only only one model so even on low health is a threat while for example you see this uh, this unit here has three models but by inflicting damage we weaken it not in this case might bring this one down they might uh, 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 retreat without uh, trying to finish off one of the outposts. So we can do a uh, good formation shooting here. Those guys are dead. Those guys are dead. It's 5.3 now. Huh? I'm bringing it down here. We have uh, heavy bolters firing here as well. How is uh, this 5.3 and the other 5.9? How is this one 5.9? Uh -huh, because of damage buff. This one has a. Uh, 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 this one has the buff from the Commissar. Bringing down accuracy. Well, uh, this one has all three. This is, a, this is a real big shot here. This hurts. They're gonna definitely retreat here. 90 point damage. We we'll open fire here because we have a heavy bolt of firing too. You can see uh, 6.2 and 2.7. While here we only do 6.2. I don't know, maybe we can bring this one down as well. We can bring down both doom sides, they're gonna flee. They're gonna flee for sure. Oh, they are, they definitely fleeing. There is a, a night site now. Uh, that's uh, here. We're getting a very nice experience here. Night site will flee, that's a transport. 
This only has a test destructor, no uh, death ray, whatever it's called, mumbo jumbo. I will repair this one. Forest here. in this location now. We are not gonna push forward. Sending some scouts, but not with a big force. Keep our overwatch here. This thing is probably gonna flee. Rome 2 tournament. You don't wanna play a watch multiplayer in that game. Horrible. Point and bring it down. Commissary is really good to support the, uh, 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 the tanks. Really good. Best to support the, the basilisks because uh, you don't want to get in close to battle. It's very fragile. So support basilisk with uh, unarmed penetration buffs every, every three turns and accuracy. Most important being accuracy, which is passive. What kind of damage can we do here? This thing has 28 health. What are the advantages the Nekans got in this game? It's uh, a very hard difficulty, so they get a shitload of loyalty. And they do have three artifacts. One is 20% damage. Nekans are really scary for the for our faction. Yeah. I need the ore production. Serious ore production. What's this? Arctic forest. Need this tile here. Knowledge is on the way. Savannah Forest. Savannah uh, is energy, no penalty. Doesn't really matter here. Or can go here as well. Hmm. I'm going to lose one Hydra if you attack this. We'll, we'll retake this. They, they have advantage here. Because we don't know what's behind. And they have uh, 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 the outposts. Range damage reduction and sea damage reduction. So we're just gonna create an overwatch here. Where we build energy. Desert rocks next to Prometheum relay pipes. We seriously need more ore. Buff ore and building more ore here. City produces all extreme and ore. Akrons are uh, uh, quality, quality high damage. 
compared to like Space Marines were also high quality, but uh, in a way more durable. Damage, you know, depends, you know, in what what area you compare. Nakers can uh, can even be more damage than Space Marines. Orcs have the highest damage. They, of course, they have to need to, need to build up their wall. Good Overwatch here. Use the loyalty to heal. Good Overwatch. Guardsman soaking up damage, beautiful. The Dark might be dead. We need to bring it down. In the video, that's three times. Substructure extension, important tech for expansion. So uh, we can claim tiles now at a, a, a get better options, as you can see here. With the radius 3. Radius 2 is default. Now there is a radius 3. This technology has increased the uh, tile acquisition range. It's very important for the mega cities. Bring it down. The, uh, they retreated here. They got wrecked here. Mm. This is what? Uh, 8.7 damage. Give me a Lord Commissar here. 11.6. Good shit. The artillery into position around the Commissar. Other stuff back. We can survive one attack there. One needs to heal. Was the last one? This one. Move here. The medipack. Going on here, clearing the forests. Okay, uh, loyalty is better here. Need more ore. Need good ore tiles. Andra and rocks. Thing can get deleted easy. That's an annihilation barge, not as uh, tanky as the as the uh, arc. It's a Tesla destructor. It moved closer, uh, so the heavy bolters can also fire. We should provide some support for this tank if they get closer. Not clear all this shit with the uh, with tech priest. Let me another tech priest. So I'll go scout. Let's see if anybody's close here. Very close. Get some more watch here. Good. Go 
this thing needs to repair. This to repair inside the city will be much faster. And uh, in city, uh, healing rate is doubled. It's fine, fine, fine. That one side did escape. This tank here. We have uh, one tank, three tanks here, but uh, one uh, one's the tanky, the lemon. Either as a more of support damage dealer. This is the D tank, D damage dealer. Only one tank here. So, how well, I many we have? Three lemons. Definitely need to get another one. This area is kind of act like as a buffer. We have uh, this thing protecting the artifact. No, no there is no like no protecting this artifact here, and it's kind of important to have three cities. So it's, it's a third uh, siren caster for additional loyalty. This uh, is a level five here, so it's pretty important to get it uh, where we need it like here. We can also just move this whole group uh, closer here. Stay in this area. <laughs> Extraction quarters. Hell yeah. That's the shit. Edict to increase ore production, and we have a, a ore field in the capital. Edicts are a special thing for the Astra Militarum. Use influence to increase outputs in the city. Oh, now Lance Peter coming here. Is that Xenos? Yeah, those are Xenos heretics. Looks like nobody uh, actually went there. Oh, interesting. Interesting. But uh, nobody went here, huh? This forest here. The uh, this is elevated. Okay. Get another bastion here. It's a good spot. Fortress on a hill. Things are repairing. Yeah, the region artifact affects uh, uh, fortifications. Stationary units. No targets for the basilisks. QQ. Where are they hiding?
There you are. Call the twin linked Hydra Auto Cannon. The Hydra Auto Cannon, but it's twin, li twin linked. Like the long name is confusing me. Just the Hydra, uh, Hydra Auto Cannons, which are twin linked. is back on huh? and uh, do devastating damage from here defend that uh, uh, outpost land speeders they have just have bolters this thing has impressive weapons later on this is kind of like a scouting force Hydra might be in trouble. Oh, that's gonna be a big hit there. No follow up. And those land speeders are just scouting. Those, those things are fast, so the, the rest of the army is hard to keep up. Most of them look like a harassment scare machine. Seven speed, seven movement. 